Hello everyone, welcome back to Death Stranding. So, we're heading back into the game. We just we got back from the wind farm. Ooh, it's a bit of a hitch right there. I don't believe we have anything on our terminal to look at. Oh no, we got some mail! Okay. From Jake Wind. Dear Sam, I wonder where you are right now. If it's somewhere powered by our wind farm. If anyone should be benefiting from our hard work, it's you. Until you brought us into the network, we could only provide power to a small region. Now we can send it to all the big cities and beyond. I'm still not 100% on the details, but basically, transmitting it via the beach means we don't suffer any additional loss due to increased distances, so it can go as far as we need it to. Good thing we kept the faith in the second expedition and kept this place properly maintained. You made our efforts worthwhile. You can't thank you enough. You know, that's a thing. A lot of um, a lot of the power generation issues we have are all about transmission. Like, how do we get all the solar power from the west coast to the east coast? Oh well. The meaning of chirality. Dear Sam, sorry you had to go to the trouble of chasing down that part for us, but believe me, you've done us a great service. Thanks to you, our chiral printer's finally up and running. Didn't think it would ever happen, if I'm honest. But it did, and now we don't have to rely on porters as much as before. We can make a lot of what we require with our printer. And if we need intel on the outside world, it's right there at our fingertips. On behalf of myself and everybody else here at the Distro Center, thanks. None of this would have been possible without you. Funny story. The other day, I was using the network to read up on the word chiral and where it comes from. Turns out it's Greek, means hand. Bet you didn't know that, did ya? The text went on about how your right hand is a mirror of your left, but only if you put your palms together. And if you point them away and lay one hand on top of another, well, that's chirality. That's how I understood it anyway. What it's got to do with the network, I'm not really sure. Something about routing communications through the beach, which is basically another word, world like ours, but not really. So when you force elements of the two into contact, that triggers a void out. It also makes your feet bleed. Anyway, all I know is that while I hope you keep on doing what you do to bring us together, you best leave the dead out of it, you hear? And he has a little wail <laughs> for the beach. I wonder why these are yellow. I don't know. And these have exclamation points next to them. Maybe that means they're more important. Yeah, important messages. Okay. Alright, let's head out. Let's see what we have. I think our next quest objective is to... Um, is to go back... Oh. Take a look. This is what the world looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. It was just one big continent. And do you know what this is? The moon. I'll show you the real thing soon. I promise. One like, thanks. Oh, that's good. A bunch of other players are dealing with my stuff. Okay, so we just got access to charge stations, right? Uh, so I want to grab a 
PCC from my locker. I guess I already have one. Never mind. And let's see what this requires. So, what am I doing? Not that. Yeah. I'm switching pages because I have too many things. Okay. So, bridge foundation, watchtower, generator. That's what I'm looking for. I was hoping it would tell me what it needs. Scan. Have a pleasant journey. But whatever. Keep on keeping on. Hey, Sam. You could probably get that bike running again if you charged it with a generator. You read my mind! I gave it a try. Weapons restrictions lifted. Doesn't look too rainy today. Oh, we got some trouble over there. Construction complete. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that turning. Well. <laughs> Does not matter how good the vehicle is if the driver is not happening. Capable. Welcome, Sam. How do I make it go? Make it go. Now we have a vehicle. Hey, more mail. Let's just click on the these, get them out of the way. I don't like it when I have the notification that there's new things, so we have to hover over everything. Reverse strike. Okay. Dear Sam, thanks again for all your help. The Kyro printer is still running like a dream. And it kind of feels like one too, seeing all these new buildings popping up out there. Hasn't solved all our problems, of course. The nearby wasteland is still crawling with BTs. But now we can obtain a good chunk of our supplies via the network, and they can't interfere with that. To think we're connected, even all the way out here. Didn't used to think it was such a special thing. The whole world was one big network back before the Death Stranding. Video, audio, text. Every bit of information was available for one and all. But now we've gone one better. The chiral network and the printer can be used to send tangible things. Well, in a way. Welcome to the new America! Once we're able to send food and medicine too, you won't have to put your neck on the line for our sake anymore. Hope that day comes soon, I really do. Alright, let's see what orders we got. Oh. More BB stuff? No, no BB stuff. Yeah, this confidential documents in the middle of mule territory. 
and then bring it to west the way station. We're going to the way station anyway. Here, tell me about it. For this retrieval order, you will be hunting down a book. An old school printed on paper book, the kind that predates the Death Stranding. Even before the world went to shit, most were published in digital formats only. It's rare to find one intact these days. Apparently, this particular book was the work of researchers who may have anticipated the Death Stranding. It was en route to Hartman when it was taken. Mules, according to Waystation staff, in case you hadn't guessed. The book's no different from any other cargo to them. But to us, it's priceless. Get it back, Asa. Look at this little area right here. There's a, a thing there. that We saw that already once. It was a... Uh, I don't remember the name. And there's another one over here, perhaps? Another little area we can unlock. All right, uh, let's take that, sure. Oh, I didn't even look. Does this have, it does say, yeah, the, the there is a risk of ghosts. So we're gonna have to worry about BTs. I've got plenty of things in our, um, in our locker. We're gonna take the trike. Put this in the private. Let's just see what I got. So I've got two anchors, repair spray. I don't think I need repair spray right now. Let's put that away. I got some boots that are good condition. I'm gonna put one of these back. I am going to take a PCC. And do I want another ladder? I've got two. I think we're fine. Okay. No cargo, so uh, we won't be immediately attacked. charge. We're good. Luden's fan. That's it. You know, let's let's go to Luden's fan on the way. before we get there, so we can drop it off. Yeah. Okay. But there were BTs here, so... We might not even be able to... Uh, yeah, there's a rainbow. That's it, right there. That's quite a ways. Would it be better to go across? I don't know, I see things rising up into the air over there. Let's see what's this way first. Where'd it go? Still good. Show up. Ah, oh, I'm not liking this weather. Oh, 
Okay, can we go up? Up this way? I don't want to leave the bike out in the rain. above it. Okay. Uh... Whoa, whoa. whoa! Whoa! Slow down. Is that... No. I think it's having trouble with the geometry up here, the the ground, because it does seem a little staggery. Delivering cargo. You the delivery dude? Oh, that's a relief. I'm just about giving up on you. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Uh, respect, man. Seriously, respect. New hologram data. Expert handler. You can now make strand contracts with other players. You can make upgrade cooperation requests to ask other players to contribute materials to your structures. About time I hopped in the whole chiral network bandwagon, am I right? Join the UCA and all that? You can help me do that, yeah? There we go. Hmm. This one is... It doesn't have a line on it. I guess it's like... I don't know. Optional? Or minor? Oh, thank you, Sam. Hey, take care out there. Hate for this to be the last time we meet, you know? So, uh, I'm gonna need a moment to look over what you brought me. But I'll hit you back via mail after. Promise. Hey, I'm hoping maybe you can help me out again. I don't want to be weird, but I, I feel you and I might have, like, a connection or something. This guy's coming on to me. Good work. New order available. Please access the... No, no orders for Sam. Just optional ones. Fragile deliveries. All the way to Capital Knot. Well, we're about to go fight some mules, so... T-Rex model stolen by mules. Oh. Um. Sure. We can do both of these. They're both going to the same place. It just will have to come back and then go forward again. might be able to pick up one of the fragile ones on the way. Yeah, that works.
Order assigned. Always pleasure, Sam. Now I just need to get back up to my bike. <laughs> Weapons restrictions lifted. There's a useful looking ladder. Well done, Gilbert. It looks like people are actually going over this little bit here. But that would just take us back to the crematorium. And that was a terrible place. There's a bridge that just is in the middle of the land. It doesn't even go from... I don't know. I'm skeptical. Some people make curious choices <laughs> about where to put the bridges. Okay. So, no BTs. I mean, there's strands about, but we didn't see any BTs. Curious. Okay, there's a bunch of them up there. One down there. Ooh, that sounds sound good. A lot of these are just on the ground. Okay. But that one's moving. And that one. Is that a dude? I think that is. There's three. Three right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I don't think they heard that. <laughs> but I bet this guy's gonna turn, and then we'll be able to go and get him. Go for it. That was a very forgiving system. Okay. That's the dude, right? The ladder? Yeah. Perfect. Could not be better. Do I want to go and get them? Maybe. Let's look around here first. Like, we might want to grab some of this material. 
I was looking for a little, um, what's it? Uh, memory chips, but I'm not seeing them. Okay, he's coming this way, but we're pretty distant. I think we're fine. Okay. There's the confidential documents, the dinosaur models, and there's some other stuff. Uh, this is going to the way station, way station, way station. They're, they're light. We'll certainly take these two. The, the toys is a potential problem. Let's just see what we can do. We'll leave the boots and the repair spray. Oh, we should just use the repair spray. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Uh, what is our? We're we're pretty heavy. Come on, get your thing up. One thirteen. Yeah. You can now submit upgrade requests for structures. If there's one you use a lot, you should definitely consider it. No. Interesting. I like to see our little. Uh, various upgrades. Sync level is the thing we're best at, apparently. I wonder why that's blinking. Maybe it's blinking because it's, like, debuffed? I don't know. I think we'll just go. Rather than try to press our luck. Oh, I was gonna repair spray. Right. Repair spray. There. Uh, point backwards. Interesting. Okay. It doesn't give a lot of feedback there about whether there's still things that need to be repaired. But, whatever. Where's my trike? There it is. put stuff on the trike. Hmm. Maybe just these? Now we can carry some more stuff, but, ah, uh, well. Now, when we go back past their, um, past their border, we are going to get attacked. So overloading your bike does cause problems. Now we're going to Luden's fan. Um, ah, it doesn't matter. Well.
Now we're about to be detected. Wow, we're like right here. Okay, we, we completely went the unnecessary way. <laughs> Twenty likes just from going it to the mule camp. Interesting. Everyday delivery achievement. And we got a bit of bandwidth. The Ludens fan has provided data for the following Ludens mask frame cutter. Wow, it went all the way up to four from just one delivery. Always a pleasure. Shame we only ever seem to meet when you're hauling something across the country for me. And take it easy, okay? I mean, as easy as you can. Good work. What's Ludens? Please uh, access delivery terminal. I think I've been misinterpreting this. I thought Luden, this was like Luden's fan, which was like, like a, as a place name. But no, it's saying that this is a guy who's a fan of Luden's. What's what are Luden's? I don't know. For further information. Oh well. We're going to the way station. Do we have any deliveries to the way station? Well, you you want capital not also. Oh, that's wind farm. No, no way. Uh, it's fragile. You know what? We haven't been to Capital Knot in a while, and we had to go over some mountains, so we don't like have a path using a bike yet. When we when we upgrade the infrastructure a little bit, then we'll do these. Yeah. Anything in the share locker? Capital Knot. Way Station? It's large, though. Way Station, Way Station. Wind Farm. No, thank you. I think one of our items is all rusty already. Let's go ahead and just repair everything while we're while we're here. I'm gonna trust that worked. <laughs> okay, so we didn't clear that mule camp. There are still potential uh, mules there. That's where we're going. Stop. Break. There you go.
but we saw that there were two down and one ahead. So I'm thinking if we just go straight through, it might be better. Unless they respawned already. Which they might have. Yeah, there's the one. I see you. You see me. But I'm just going to go right by. Right by. Right by. Come on. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Go. Okay. There's a partial bridge. I didn't even think about this. How are we going to get over there? We need to build a bridge. Over here-ish. Make it all the way across? I can't really see. Deep water, so no. So that would guess most of the way. Hmm. I wonder if I should maybe go at an angle so that we can come back at an angle. Uh, I wish I could see it from that angle. Okay, wait a minute. This water isn't that bad. It's the water on the other side that's a problem. have a bridge that goes all the way up there and one that goes all the way like this I like it okay do I have another one I don't think I do no But I, I need to add materials to this so it doesn't really matter. Can't this thing work any faster? This is miracle technology, man. You're like being a bit of a jerk. I'm Sam! I'm Sam. <laughs> Someone replied back. I can't complete. I do have some metal here, though, right? Whoop. What just... what just happened? Oh, I... <laughs> I grabbed some stuff. Okay, wait a minute. Cargo menu.
Oh, I can't even. Whoa. Okay, never mind. This was. We're gonna have to come back out and do this. So we need 800 metal. Oof. Let's just swim across. I better try can do it. Uh, that's that the bank is a little lighter down here. But the water is faster. Ah. What's with this music? Oh, someone has that playing music. I gotcha. Well, now it, now this is blocking the way up. <laughs> Um. Still got it. Increases battery consumption. Interesting. So it's not that it can't do it, it just loses efficiency. Yeah, someone else has the same idea. Uh, I think it might be better to go all the way over here. Hello? Just a random memory chip right here? There we go. given up on seeing this again. Let's not uh, judge a book by its cover, though, huh? Let me take a closer look. Very, very nice. It's exactly like I remember it. <laughs> Talk about lucky. Yeah, that distance traveled is probably not the best, best number. Likes secrete oxytocin. New Luden's mask frame cutter. Pink. This is taking a long time. Just go through it quickly, please. Yeah, we got a little bit of delivery volume. Elite handler. I can't tell you how grateful I am. There are few bona fide treasures left in this world. And you just saved one of them. Thank you. Good work. New order available. Please. All right. Let's give you... By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now, these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember that each facility has separate stores and that the amount on hand differs from site to site. Don't get carried away. All right, all right. 
I'm gonna give you the resin. So. Yeah. And you can have the rest of this container repairs. Uh, it's, it's still pretty good. Here. Have some crystals. We don't have enough metal to build two bridges. That's annoying. Maybe we can recycle or grab something from Cher. Look at all this stuff here. Oh my goodness. Well. Are there any metals? No. Why didn't I turn this in? Lost cargo. Medical instruments. To here. Now I'm confused. Did I just take an order? No. No. Yeah, I don't get what happened there. Maybe this is Thanks, one of those yeah. things that I um gotta say, you truly are Maybe this is one of the things I delivered like to a post box. So, first of all, I need some metals. You know what? This seems really trivial. It feels like I just go right through it. I mean, maybe I'm making a fuss over nothing. But let's at least make this one. Chiral crystals, too. Please stand clear of the designated construction area. Just so you know, Sam, distro centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are. Oh well, it might not be super important, but I feel like we've made the world a slightly better place. Construction complete. comment. Looks safe. No rainbow. Wow, 
Why does this keep on saying that? There. Go away. Ooh. There we go. While we're going this way in the first place. This area right outside the base is really forgiving, but it was intimidating right when you were carrying that body up. Think of having to bring something all the way to Luden's fan from here. Oh well. are you doing? Stop its charge for a second. Head out now, or wait till it's full. Time to motor. Did I not pick that up? I thought I went over and picked that up. Maybe I picked up the wrong thing. Is there any way to get into the main city? I mean, there's like a huge city over here, but it says off limits. Probably not. It's probably just for scenery. Shipment. A delivery of relief supplies for the people of Portmont City. 
Fortnot City is a fair distance from BT territory, but the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. They'll also provide people with the means to defend themselves when traveling outside the city limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines, as well as human sperm and egg samples. These specimens are essential for maintaining genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Kyrelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the Cairo network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. Details on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, this will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. More interview data? Elite Handler. Hey, I got something for you. That looks so real. I mean, it looked like he actually gave us a cap rather than a, a model, a, a, a bunch of polygons. All right. Until next time. It's like we're watching a, something being filmed. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further. The memory chip. treasure hunter in your spare time, huh? It's funny. I didn't think you had it. Frame Arms Biako. Thank you for your contribution. All right. I want to put this away. Private locker. We'll keep a ladder. And a climbing anchor. Our boots are still pretty good. Okay. I'm inclined to maybe take a PCC. But we can always pick one up uh, when we get to the um, distribution center. We've got a bunch of them. Eight package to Portnot City. That's a long way. I kind of wish they'd sent me from the distribution center on to Portnot City first so I could scout that pass there near the wind farm. Well, let's not do it yet. We'll probably do it tomorrow. But um, let's go to our private room and read those emails. I'm getting lazy skipping these little cutscenes all the time. But I swear, it's so well animated. It's like you're what It's like they're actually acting it out, and you're just filming. Okay, lots of things, lots and lots of things. From George Baton, or Batten. 
Hey, Sam, you really helped me out there. Thanks, man. And that book you brought me? It's actually a movie script. I mean, I knew that all along. Sorry if I didn't keep you updated. Anyway, it's an interesting movie from an interesting time, back when the world was divided, East versus West. The Cold War, they called it. The movie is called Casualties of Twilight. It's about two lovers who were caught up in the ideologies of the global conflict and about how they destroy the world in order to be together. It's just a short movie, but it's interesting from a psychological perspective. Some people say actually say it predicted the Death Stranding. I didn't think it'd get mixed up with a consignment of cargo that'd be stolen by mules. I really panicked once I heard it'd be gone. Once I'd heard it was gone. So yeah, thanks for bringing it back. I really appreciate it. How are your porter grades these days, Sam? I'm sure you're aware that trying to account for all five factors is the basic premise. But if you're anything like me, you just want to deliver as much stuff as you can, am I right? If so, you can always just load yourself up with a massive haul and aim for a bridges bonus for total cargo weight. Nothing wrong with a simple approach. In the good old days, it was easier. Roads were much better back then, so all you had to do was check all your stuff in the back of a truck and go for a drive. Can't do that now, though. Even if you got a truck, they're usually more trouble than they're worth. Sometimes you'll see them just sitting on the side of the road, locked and abandoned. Anyway, on the bright side, since lugging big loads of cargo is so hard these days, folks are really grateful when a porter manages it, hence the bonuses. Here at the Distro Center, we have to make sure we've got plenty of food and materials in stock, which means we have to make every delivery count. I dread to think what would happen if we ran out of supplies. How about this for some extra motivation? I found that my obsession with lugging heavy loads has actually made me stronger and able to carry even more. Well, as I've said my piece, well, I've said my piece, and now you know how to make yourself popular around these parts. Stack your cargo high. You're the best, Sam. You brought me something one of a kind. A Ludens figurine signed by none other than the creator himself. Try printing that with the Cairo printer. The one you've got is pretty cool, but this, this is a national treasure. Legend has it has it these Ludens figured prominently in one of the creator's games. Pre-stranding humans, Homo sapiens, were obsessed with them, you know. It was through these works they reached the next level and became Homo Ludens. What? Apparently what they played weren't games in the usual sense, but since there aren't any around anymore, we might never know what that means. But these Ludens figures, they were symbols of one game in particular. And I guess you could say that by collecting these figures, I'm playing a game of my own. This must be a reference to a different game that I just don't know. Now oh well. Bunch of new tips. Adjusting bridge length. Claiming materials. Yeah, I don't know why this one popped up. It was like because I went up into the mountains or something. Overloading your bike, riding your bike through rivers. It seems like really it's just about speed and battery charge. It doesn't damage anything, which is good. I was worried that would like exposure to the water would mean it would degrade or something. I don't know. Calm down, BB. Yeah, it's like a little Gundam thing. Frame Arms was a series of original plastic robot figurines created by Kota Bukia, one of Japan's premier manufacturers of plastic models. Each robot shares the same basic frame architecture, with different external parts being attached to create an individual mechanoid. The Byako, White Tiger figure is a rare masterpiece based on one of Yoji Shinkawa's design. The fully realized world and captivating story behind the Frame Arms series won at many dedicated fans. Is this a real life thing? I don't know. It's weird. From Die Hardman? Before the Stranding, the whole world was connected. There were networks, social networks we called them, that people used to communicate all the time. They shared all sorts of stuff through them. A random thought, a pretty picture, a home movie, you name it. 
And if you liked something that someone else had uploaded, you let them know by giving them, well, a like. Sounds weird, I know, but that's the truth. Eventually, someone ran tests on the users of these networks and discovered that receiving a like triggered a rush of oxytocin. The theory was that it stemmed from a sense of being acknowledged. Even though you couldn't see the person you were interacting with, it still felt like they were accepting you, praising you. And who wouldn't like that? But that same process is at the heart of the mule phenomenon. It's believed that an over-dependence on the oxytocin rush provided by these kinds of chemicals, or these kinds of interactions, is a factor in porters going rogue. With this in mind, it wouldn't be wrong to characterize the mules as oxytocin addicts. In essence, they're social animals at the mercy of validation. Yeah, I'm... I'm not much one of the social network type people. At what point can it be said that man truly understood what it meant to die? It would seem reasonable to suggest that it was when he began to bury his dead, a practice which originated with the Neanderthals. In a way, one might say that our growing understanding of death drove our development as a species, our fear of it, our attempts to conquer it. Why, it could be argued our entire history revolves around these obsessions. Take the great pyramids of Egypt, or the tombs of the ancient emperors of China. The more powerful the person, the bigger and grander their final resting place. Or, to posit a more radical theory, could the very concepts of power and society themselves have emerged solely to facilitate the creation of such monuments, such challenges to the finality of death? Either way, in leaving behind something they hoped might endure through the ages, the builders of these edifices believed that they too might live on forever. The mummies of the Egyptians are another means by which man sought to fulfill this desire to escape the finality of death. They were created that the spiritual self, the Ka, would have a physical vessel, or Ha, to which it could return. The Sokushin Butsu Sokushin Butsu? Oh well. Or mummified monks of Buddhism are similar in this respect. The monks in question aim to transition straight from life to Buddhahood, in other words, to forego death altogether. But now that the beach has brought us into direct contact with the world beyond, our relationship with death must further evolve. The next stage in our understanding is upon us. The Corals of the Seam Life began in the oceans, and as it evolved, it graduated to the land. At least that's what's believed until recently. To creatures of the sea, the land is a harsh and unforgiving place. Given this, what could possibly have compelled these organisms to make such a drastic transition? Consider that fossils of the first fish to adapt themselves to land have been found in regions with unusually large tidal range. Could it be that these creatures develop legs in order to move to more swiftly return to the safety of the sea when stranded? <laughs> Interesting idea. Could their evolutionary leap have been triggered by this traumatic experience? If so, could similar circumstances have shaped the evolution of the coral-like organisms that inhabit the seam, and driven them to develop an ability to live between life and death, between time and timelessness? Coral is, after all, older than any organism of the land, and hardy enough to have weathered the mass extinction of 540 million years ago. It's a life form upon which many other organisms rely for survival. Bearing all this in mind, one could argue that the ability to survive in the seam is indicative of a profound evolutionary leap. Ah, something from Fragile. Cryptobiotes. We call these bugs cryptobiotes. They were recorded in reference books and databases back before the Death Stranding. But nobody ever thought to give them a, a proper classification, so cryptobiotes they stayed. They're named for the process of cryptobiosis, which means hidden life. When environmental conditions get too harsh, or resources too scarce, cryptobiotes can shut down their metabolic processes and enter an almost death-like state in order to survive. Tardigrades and sleeping chironomids are capable of this too, but cryptobiotes are on a whole other level. They can survive anything, anywhere, even on the beach or in the seam. What's the seam? We've been hearing about the beach a lot, but the seam is new. 
They aren't capable of prolonging only their own lives. Humans who eat them acquire a limited resistance to timefall. You won't find them lying around just anywhere, though. They're, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. Not many people even know they existed until recently, so next to no research has been done. But now that their beneficial properties have been recognized, I'm willing to bet they'll play an important role in helping us to understand the beach, the Death Stranding, and everything else. Okay. And we'll take a shower before we go, as per usual. What's with the winking? He keeps doing that. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a break here before we do this long mission. So, thank you everyone for watching. Till next time.